previously on Nikki and Gabby Jersey Shore. Nikki planned this trip for us. A good ass road trip, a good ass mansion. What can go wrong? Rachel is just entertaining her and her friend. They're just drinking shots. Okay, there was one line you said, and I know you didn't mean it this way, but it hurt a little. You were like, what I am to you is that to me. It's my birthday. I'm 26. Did Gabby really just do that? There's literally no hospitals on the island. Like, I... Everyone stop talking. Ruined our entire birthday trip. I hate you, Nate. Are you filming my like 26 plus one day older? This is like such like a dad home video. So it's the last day at the beach. This trip was very short, went by way faster than I thought it would. And honestly, like, I feel like I get attached to people and places really easily, and I'm already sad we gotta go tomorrow. Even though I'm sad, good news is my best friend Jesse and her boyfriend Casey are coming today as a surprise. It's the last day, everybody's gonna be here, and we're gonna have a picnic on the beach. All the drama I think is behind us. It's gonna be a really good day. So this morning, um, there's kind of like an elephant in the room, I feel like, with me and my friends. And I could tell that they can tell that I seem a little different now. So late last night, when we're all in the hot tub, one of my friends that was there that has not been on camera or in the show, um, left without saying bye. Honestly, me bringing up how I felt about them not saying bye to me should, should not have started a fight, but it did. This person totally came at me and I think this was just the cherry on top. I feel like this person's been feeling some type of way for a long time. And I think me confronting, hey, why didn't you say bye to me, made this person like snap. So Gabby disappears for half of the day, don't know where she is, and I catch wind from our friend group that she got into it, like a bad fight with Mario. Did you hear him? Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello darling. You look so good. Hello, we <laughs> got oh, yeah. the motherfucking we yeah. Yeah. What's up, baby? What are you doing? Oh. We match. <laughs> What's I'm up? so happy you guys made it. We have to wait for everyone to get back. We're all getting coffee. The low key guys, like Gabby's in a really bad. Mood. I know she already. She well, she was texting me about like the. <laughs> shit. I feel so bad. Yeah, that that was like. I'll give her a big hug. I was reading the text messages. My heart was. I like, didn't read them. Crazy. Why? What did she say to Gabby? Like, so Rachel and Jesse are me and Gabby's OG friends from our original reality stuff and from our college friend group, and they've seen me and Gabby go through friendships phases and they're giving their two cents on how they really feel about the situation with Gabby and Gabby has been, I feel like the last few months, like really, really good. She's been so much better with like her communication and I feel like when she reaches out to people when she's upset, like she used to reach out like out of anger and it hurts mm -hmm. people. But she's and coming from a genuine place, like I'm hurt. She's starting to like get so good at it and I'm like so proud of her. And so every single time she like sends me screenshots of like texts that she's about to send to people or like, texts that she did send to people, I always make sure to be like, that was like so good. Like that was so good. She put it all out there and I just like, I, and she put it all out there and it just, it looked like she took her time to think about what she was going to say and she didn't say anything out of anger. And she said it nicely it was, so you could tell. It was nicely, it but was like she, but she got her point across yeah. and it was like, she's just hurt. Like, I also think that my heart broke. Gabby, like you guys know, she's had a really rough year. Yeah, yeah. Her anxiety, like she went, like our dynamic went from me being the anxious one to her now I know. being the anxious one. And it's like now I'm the one that has to like talk her off the ledge when I used to be like rules reverse. My relationship with Gabby was really odd. It was very surface level. And before being YouTubers together, we had a deep relationship. But I feel like the fame and the money just kind of changed everything. And I feel like Gabby had to go through some hard things to get back to who Gabby really is. I feel like she's deep and she's there again and she's been through some shit. So now not only do I have a surface level fun relationship with Gabby, but I have a deep relationship with Gabby and I feel like Gabby understands more of my struggles now. I feel like I have my sister back. 
She's becoming a really good person. I think shit make bad shit makes you a good person. <laughs> like that is the Gabby like like this is you the Gabby that I she's always been I say that all the time. Inside, but she has, but she I feel like, like a guard up. she did, and like she would say stuff out of anger a lot, and like she was like surface level and angry. Yeah, yeah. A lot. she's just like becoming a really like that's the Gabby that I became friends with. I'm like so proud of her. Like it was yeah. so well said. It really was. My yeah. advice to Gabby is that maybe you just aren't good for each other at this phase of your life and who's to say you won't find each other again in the future i i just feel like they're not done but i think that maybe this chapter is done and i think that that's okay and that's healthy and I, but i they're not done they're not done i think this picnic on the beach time. is yeah. a very gabby thing yeah. so hopefully this will get her in a better mood your birthday yes yes let's go inside we're gonna go inside so it's the last day of our trip so we want to have a nice calming like very mature picnic on the beach nothing crazy nothing no raging no shots just a picnic with wine on the beach this is the perfect way to end the trip because I feel like there's just so much to be said Nate, can you tell what kind of mom I'm gonna be? Mm -hmm. We have an itinerary. Picnic now. Everybody help your mother. Don't leave it to me to do it all this by myself. <laughs> <laughs> we got this just for the picnic. All right, ready, set. Oh my God, if somebody's oh. ass sits on that porky barn. <laughs> <laughs> So this is definitely the 26 year olds in us wanting to be mellow, have some wine and cheese and just embrace the atmosphere of where we are and that we're all together. I think this is exactly how we should be celebrating our birthday on the last day. And I just want good vibes for everybody. You know, a lot of people took off work to be here. We're not in college anymore. We gotta actually plan this shit. This doesn't happen as often as we were used to it a few years ago. Let's enjoy this. This isn't forever. We're gonna go home tomorrow. A picnic. Casey can't get over the fact that my boat is A picnic. Hello. Yeah, sure? I finally have friends right yeah. here. We made it. <laughs> oh, you think we're friends? <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> That's awkward. Here, I finally have friends, guys. I wouldn't be able to be current Nikki right now without any of these people. Whether they're the new friends or friends from college, each one has served a purpose in leading up to who I am right now, and they make me happy. It feels so good to be surrounded by my friends. I feel like everyone's energy is so infectious and so positive and so comforting, and I feel like I'm in a very comfortable place right now, and I feel like I'm ready to open up to everyone because I'll be honest I've been feeling pretty shitty since reading the text messages I've been reading like I'm honestly in shock right now <laughs> basically like the night of, of our birthday I got in a fight and I'm just not going to be in the mindset to like be fun tonight what? Well, it's your last night. She kept saying like I'm a party here. Party <gasps> first of all, like, first of all, what? can I just Embrace say? It. Can I just say that something that Doesn't drives me sense. nuts about people our she age is that I feel like there's people so divided. I'm in my fucking 20s, and it took me until I feel like the last two years to be like, fuck that. Why would I feel bad about that? I'm young. I'm so sick and tired of people. I feel like I'm being guilted for partying. You, at, you shouldn't be. You at are. 20. You Six. are 26 years old. That's 26 years young. Like, I'm literally heated right now just hearing what happened. What makes you happy makes you happy. What makes me happy makes me happy. What makes Nikki, what makes Haley, what makes Rachel, Colin, everyone's happiness comes from a different source and you don't have to apologize for what makes you happy. You guys are just different people. I'm sorry. You just don't have anything in common anymore. Like, it happens. It's okay. People are in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. There's something I haven't shared with my friends this year. And honestly, I think because I have such a close relationship with them, they I feel like they've been suspecting what I haven't told them. And it's honestly that I didn't think I would battle through my mental health to see 
26. I think I'm gonna tell them about it and finally tell them about how I'm doing mentally and what I went through. I'm just like, I'm someone that like believes everything happens for a reason. And a couple months ago when I was literally having like really dark, dark thoughts, I could have, I was like, I was like not seeing the, the rainbow at the end of the tunnel. Like it really just felt like a hole I was just drowning in. And um, I didn't even like, no, like, and this sounds really dramatic, but I didn't think I would have the courage to see my birthday, if that even makes sense. And that's this birthday means a lot to me this year because of that. Gabby. I've been putting on a fake smile. I'm so proud of Gabby opening up about the situation because I feel like in the past, Gabby was too proud and had too much pride to like bring up things that were actually bothering her. But I feel like Gabby is seeing the beauty in being vulnerable and she's realizing that being vulnerable with your friends is the medicine sometimes you need because that's what your friends are there for, to pick you up when you need someone to uplift you. Since I've started like my new journey and trying to like be a better person and like trying to grow, I've noticed it's been filtering out certain people. Like some people are leaving and some people are coming it's into my life. It's a filter. So I, I need to happen. I don't want to say old me would benefit from that relationship more than now, but at the end of the day, like this birthday and how much it meant to me after just having a really like bad depression this year, I wouldn't have expected this turnout from Honestly, and it was just like the last I don't thing think I it's I'm gonna flip that around. I didn't expect this turnout. Yeah. I am so grateful. Same. Every single person's here, like dead ass. I didn't expect I was I was sad when I thought you weren't gonna come. Aww. I was sad in the beginning when I thought you weren't gonna hang out with me. <laughs> we we put a cork in that plug though. <laughs> <laughs> I got jealous boyfriend because vibes. Of you. And then and then I didn't like you guys are my new friends and like we're like weirdly fucking close. It's weird. Because we just get and each you, other. You came from high school. How did you end up here? <laughs> ask, me, ask me again. Oh, oh, my God. God. I no. A reason. We're literally chilling your future or... career boards. <laughs> just don't take it seriously. You just need to tell yourself you guys are incompatible currently. That's, That's it. That's okay. That's a good way to look okay. Incompatible right now. So I think it's obvious that Gabby and I, our relationship has gotten a lot closer this year. Our relationship has been tested and I think that's when you're given that opportunity to like show up as a sister and I feel like I proved to Gabby this year how loyal I am and how much I'm there for her. What I learned from this trip is that anything that's online is just words and I should focus more on the relationships, the real raw relationships I have in front of me in person because in a snap of a finger you could be told you can't see anyone and you have to be surrounded by your home walls. I have learned that we're adults and being an adult is hard so you can't judge anyone else on how they're choosing to be an adult. We all are doing what we got to do to be happy and to get to our next steps. It feels so good to film this reality show for our channel because not only is it not scripted and no one's being pegged as bad guys or good guys but it feels awesome to do what we love, which is this type of content, but for this channel. <laughs> Even though my boyfriend Nate wasn't on camera because he filmed this entire show, I had fun working on this with him. You guys didn't get to see that, obviously, behind the scenes, but I went on a vacation with my friends. I did something I love with my boyfriend and my twin sister. I'm leaving with my pockets full. I'm looking forward to the future. Hopefully we can have another one of these seasons. This one was definitely shortly lived because we wanted to see if you guys even like this on our channel. And if you do, which you should let us know in the comments, we're definitely gonna do a much longer trip. Filming this mini series really opened my eyes and it almost makes me wanna take on more cities and towns, but that's up to you guys. Comment down below. I almost feel like these are little docu-follows slash travel vlogs and it's awesome. I love it. I, I wanna keep doing this.
So yeah, Long Beach Island, we had a great time with you in Jersey. Hopefully this friend group gets to take another place. Let us know in the comments where you guys want to see us. Hopefully that is the future. Comment down below if you guys want more episodes of Nikki and Gabby Jersey Shore or if you want us to go somewhere else. White Claw.